The technology that we have at the St. Francis Department of Radiation Oncology is really state of the art. We have a Varian True Beam Linear Accelerator. This is the state of the art in linear accelerator technology. Um, it allows us to treat patients with a wide range of diseases very, very accurately, uh, very quickly. Using Rapid Arc, we're able to what once took as much as 15 minutes to, to deliver a treatment, we're able to treat in two minutes. And that's because we constantly keep the uh, linear accelerator rotating about the patient. And while it's rotating, we have the multi-leaf collimator system um, changing the fluence and it changes it on the flies. So we're able to, to deliver it continually around um, during the length of the treatment. For smaller lesions, we use what's called flattening filter free mode where we deliver uh, at, a, at a rate that's uh, almost five times what we used to in machines that this is just recently replacing. The linear accelerator is the way that we generally treat patients with radiation these days. Um, it is a machine that generates high energy x-rays and we use those x-rays to direct them at areas where patients have cancer to try to get rid of their cancer. One of the main parts of the, uh, of the accelerator is its actual imaging system and that's kind of what sets this accelerator apart from, from previous, uh, previous versions and also uh, existing equipment that's out in, out in use right now. Um, the imaging system allows us to align the patient each day to the, uh, to the same position that they were planned in. So we're able to ensure that we're delivering the radiation exactly to where we intend it. Years ago, we used something called cobalt, which was a radioactive, a naturally occurring radioactive element that produced X-rays or uh, gamma rays. And um, we used that to direct at patients' cancers. But there was not a lot of flexibility in that because it was a relatively low energy compared to what we're able to generate now. Now we use electricity to generate higher energy uh, x-rays and we're able to use those to do a better job of treating these patients. We are able to shape the beam using a tungsten um, multi-leaf collimator system and this system also allows us uh, to use what's called rapid arc where we rotate the machine around the patient and while we're doing that we're modulating the fluence of the radiation output and um, being able to create a more conformal uh, beam to not only ensure that we're delivering just the right amount of radiation to the patient but not delivering too much radiation to the um, surrounding structures. Some of the other things that we have available that are quite innovative, uh, w one of the main things we have here at St. Francis now is a very nice um, suite that allows us to perform brachytherapy. Now brachytherapy is a way of placing radiation directly into the target rather than, so we've talked about external beam radiation therapy and that's what we call teletherapy. That's, you can think of it as radiation from the outside in. Well brachytherapy is more like radiation from the inside out. So we actually pr place the radiation sources directly into the target so for example, we'll be doing a lot of prostate brachytherapy, that is, it gives us the ability to do very tailored radiation doses to quite high doses uh, in a single treatment. Um, and we usually use that as an adjunct to external beam radiation therapy for intermediate and high risk prostate cancer patients. We also use it for a lot of gynecologic cancers, especially a, a lot of our cervical cancer patients will be getting brachytherapy with our new uh, brachytherapy machine that we'll have here. We will be able to treat skin cancers also with the same machine. Uh, so it gives us a lot of additional things to, to, that we can treat uh, beyond what the external beam radiation is able to cover.